this is how we connected it onto the back. We just have the washers and then the other bolt and the wing nut. We have two of the bolts right here. We have the wheel thing. And it's not completely silent like most bucket wheels that you know you can buy, but it is silent enough to where it shouldn't bother you. And the best thing about this is you can adjust it to different heights. And another good thing about it is um, you're saving like 20, 17 bucks. Because if you were to buy the California Storm Wheel, that is $20, $21, which isn't bad. That's only a couple dollars more if you make it yourself. But they catch you on the shipping. The shipping costs, well, at least for where I live, $17. So $17 plus the $21 already costs, it costs almost $40 for a bucket wheel. And here you can make your own. Uh, I made this for around $17, around $17 $20 is pretty cheap um because you save like 17 20 dollars on shipping so yeah that is how you can make your own diy bucket wheel we ended up not using uh the stuff that we got from the hardware store my dad ended up having some we just had right here so I ended up switching him out for those that way we had more room screw this on that way there's more rooms and it didn't fall off um and i love this so much it has enough room to where you can put bedding underneath it and the type of gallon the type of bucket that we used was a five gallon bucket which i'm guessing this is about a in between a nine inch to a 12 inch i think it's like a, a i think this has i think this would be like an 11 inch or 10 inch wheel which is pretty nice. It has, there's no grooves for them to catch on, but it is a smooth, solid running surface. Um, way easier to clean. This is going to be way easier to clean because it doesn't have a other piece around it and it's just all flat. Um, uh, you can get different colors too. I know you don't have to use a bucket and you can actually use a Forte Flux mini pan which is like for a horse feet or whatever that is a great size too to use and you don't even have to cut anything off because it's already the perfect size but we didn't have any of those where we uh were going we went to home depot to get everything and they didn't have any of those so we just have to we just had to make do with the um bucket which i'm really happy with how this turned out and it's not actually that loud Now, my dad was mentioning how we could have used different bolts, nylon bolts, but either way, we're kind of just stuck with what we got here, which is okay. But if you want to try using nylon bolts instead of these regular bolts, you can. But I think it's perfectly fine just like this, but if you're a light sl sleeper, you might want to try some different things to make it extra quiet. I'm not a light sleeper, but I'm also not a, like, a deep sleeper. I'm kind of in the middle. So this shouldn't bother me at all. Anyways, that is how I made my own bucket wheel. Um.